It's really possible turning deserts back into fertile agricultural land and so together restoring the planet, the environment and the economy. And it's urgently needed too because biodiversity is being lost on a huge scale. Erosion causes heavy flooding and soil exhaustion destroys agricultural land. The Lus Plateau in China is not only known as the basis of Chinese civilization, but is also infamous for its erosion. Through the centuries, the area has been deforested and grazed bare, and the fertile yellowish Lus has fallen prey to the elements. Heavy rainfall has washed the top layer of soil down into the Yellow River, which takes its name from the color of the clay. The river became clogged up and life in the once so fertile valley became harsh and poverty stricken. In 1994, the Chinese government started an ambitious project. An ecologically destroyed area nearly the size of the Netherlands was to be restored. The Chinese American cameraman, John D. Liu, was asked to film the project. Liu became completely fascinated by the project because the results were astonishing. The desert disappeared and nature was restored in all its splendor. Suddenly the people had rich food growing land again, their income tripled and their days of poverty were over. We need another model. And here's a model, a model which can restore the function. It's been proven to be able to restore hydrological function, to restore fertility. So we have vast areas of degraded lands. There's plenty of, of room for opportunity. And this could employ millions and millions of people. And their work wouldn't be just be about themselves. Their work would be about ensuring that future generations can survive. Worldwide, more than 20% of all land has been seriously degraded or eroded. Hardly anything will grow there anymore. In 1977, the Egyptian Ibrahim Abulaish started his Sekem initiative to green the desert. And that here was, all of that was desert before. They must have thought I am crazy <laughs> because nobody done it before. Seikem has been very successful, not only ecologically, but also economically. Tens of thousands of people in the desert have a better life since the start of Seikem. In India, another greening initiative was started. All alone, Jadev Payeng planted a forest which now covers more than 300 hectares. Ecologist Willem Ferveder started an initiative with one goal, scaling up greening initiatives. Restoration is not a hobby. It is a new industry that we need to gaan zetten. And it moet not on the basis of maximalisation of winds per hectare, but on the basis of four returns per hectare. And the four returns are uh, return of inspirational capital, people, passion, return of social capital, creëren van banen. Return of natural capital, het creëren van, nieuwe, van biodiversiteit, het herstellen van biodiversiteit, van natuur. En dat geeft return on investment, return of financial capital. Of course, you green not for greening, you green for human beings development. So we, we aim to develop human consciousness and uh, human society. And so the development is the main target, not the greening. <laughs>